Shalom, family. This is your brother TC back with another video. I like to start by giving all praise and all honor to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His Son, Yahshua, um, for all things, you know, for His love, for His kindness, for His compassion, you know, for everything that He's doing for us, you know, um, waking us up this day, you know. Um, I like to thank Him for all my brothers and sisters, you know. Um, I like to give Him praise and honor for His last prophet that's out here doing the work, you know, helping us to get ready for the coming of the Messiah. I just want to thank the Father for everything that he's doing right now and for all my brothers and all my sisters. And, you know, um, you know, we all got jobs to do right now in this last hour. We all got a job to do, you know, um, whether you're a prayer warrior, you know, me, for instance, you know, man, when I wake up, I'm praying. When I'm driving my car, I'm praying. When I'm at work, I'm praying. You know, man, I just pray all day. I work, come home, pray, listen to the other videos, you know what I'm saying, study. And that's just about it. That's my that's my daily routine. So, you know, man, because we praying through prayer, we get to hear the Father, you feel me? And the Father gets to communicate with us, you know. So we have to be praying in this hour right now, you know. And as I just be chilling, you know, just spending time with the Holy Spirit or whatever, the Spirit will just be revealing certain little things or whatever. And then I'll write them down and I'll take notes or whatever. And, you know, Elder did a video the other day. And I had did some notes and some of the notes that I had took, you feel me, Elder had went over those in his video and I just found it funny because I knew the Holy Spirit was talking to me when he went over those same exact, when he said the same exact phrase was, is specifically. So, you know, I knew the Holy Spirit was talking to me and like I said, I had just wrote a little lesson down that the Holy Spirit was giving me some scriptures. And I was just talking to my brothers about it, you know, we had on, um, I had on um, read it to them and went over it with them. And it's funny because as I was going over it with them, I started just chilling, walking through the TikTok streets. And, you know, man, a lot of, a, a lot of these brothers that's on here trying to teach the Bible, man, they don't know what they're talking about. You know, if they just teach it from one book, they don't know what they're talking about. I'm going to be a hundred percent I'm a hundred percent certain they don't know what they're talking about they just teach it from one book at this time and hour you know we got brothers and sisters you know what i'm saying from one nation one power they doing their thing you know they putting up videos um l diel he do his thing he make a video four hour five hour video almost every day almost every day you know what i'm saying giving us some real food you know um elder kadosh he doing his thing a bar, you know what I'm saying, he doing his thing, the friends, he doing his thing, messenger of Christ, he giving us the news, you know what I'm saying, real news, you know, we got brothers and sisters that's out here doing the real work, you know, all these other brothers and sisters out here, man, they asking questions, and, you know, that's how you know they don't know, because if they was, if they had answers, they'll give you answers, you know, so, um, what I'm finna do right now, basically, I'm finna just let you know, man, um, all these brothers are under a strong delusion, that's what's going on, you send a lot of these brothers under a strong delusion. They say they getting smarter, but yet they taking books out of the Bible. They say they getting smarter, but yet, you know what I'm saying? Instead of increasing their knowledge, they removing things. How can you get smarter removing things? You know? So I'm gonna just show you how they under a strong delusion. Alright, so uh, yeah, this is gonna be called strong delusion. I got six scriptures. I'm gonna just read it completely through. You know, I'm going to put the scriptures in the link under the video. You know what I'm saying? Just listen. You feel me? Like, this is how the Holy Spirit gave it to me. I was just laughing, man. This is this is why I love line upon line, precept upon precept. Because when you know how to do that, you're going to be able to hear the words speak to you. Here we go. All right. So, like I said, I'm going to just read it all the way through. I'm going to put the scriptures in at the um, end of the video. So, if y'all want to know what I was reading, just go check out the um, description. It's going to be in the video. Um, it has been given to you to know the mysteries of God for he have, for he who have will be given more till he has abundance and he that has even what he has will be taken away from him. The mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains will do so until he is taken out of the way and the lawless one will be revealed whom the Lord consumed with the breath of his mouth and with the brightness of his coming. The working of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan with all power, sign and lying wonders and with all unrighteousness, deceptions among those who those who perish 
Remember that those who perish, those are the ones going to be deceived because they can't, because they didn't receive the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this reason, God will send them a strong delusion that they should believe the lie that they all may be condemned who did not believe the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So I will choose their delusion and bring their fear upon them. Because when I called, no one answered. When I spoke, they did not hear, but they did evil before my eyes and, cho and chose that which is that which I do not like and I do not delight. The time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but will have many teachers because their itchy ears and they will be turned to fables. Therefore, beloved, since you know this beforehand, beware lest you fall from your own steadfastness, being led away with the error of the wicked, but grow in the grace of the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That's what we're doing. We're showing you him in the Old Testament. So you grow in the grace of the Lord of Jesus Christ by Yahshua HaMashiach, by learning him through the Old Testament, doing learning him through the symbology. Hear the word of the Lord, you that tremble at his word. Your brethren that hate you, that cast you out for my name's sake, said, Let the Lord be glorified, but he shall appear to your joy, and they shall be ashamed. So, you know, man, all these brothers out here removing books from the Bible, reading only the Old Testament, really only the New Testament. You got one brother out here, he kicking all the prophets out of the Bible and saying we just only got to use the first five books of the Bible. All that is a part of the strong delusion. You feel me? All these people that don't love the Heavenly Father, that don't love Messiah. I'm going to tell you like this. I'm scared of the Messiah, man. People out here thinking that they getting smart and they getting dumb. They out here teaching you. And if you listen to them, you're going to be dumb. That's a strong delusion. Man, that's scary, man. I don't want to mess with the Messiah like that, man. I'm for him. I'm not against him. You feel me? All those that's against him, they finna be made ashamed. You feel me? All those that's out here speaking all this, these bold and harsh words, they gonna have to, they gonna have to, they gonna have to hear themselves saying that in front of him. They gonna have to hear themselves saying these harsh and bold words to his face. So, you know, this ain't a long video. This is the shortest video I ever did. You know what I'm saying? But I just want to let y'all know a lot of these brothers are under the strong delusion, man. All y'all that's prayer warriors, man, man. Y'all keep on praying, you know. We in the final hour, you know, Russia, Ukraine, all this stuff is intensifying, you know. Um, you got the the on the west coast, you know, you got the the earthquake that just happened. They're on the tsunami watch, man. The earth is in commotion, man. If y'all think that is is this this is a game and you think that nothing is not about to happen, then you under a strong delusion, man. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Christ is coming. The year 2020-25, that's what we expecting him. You know, according to all the prophecy, you feel me? Um, I love y'all. Get y'all life in order. Repent, get baptized, you know, because that's the only way you can have a relationship with Christ is through baptism and repentance every day. If you haven't done that, you know, um, you got one nation, one power dot com. You can go look up a baptizer near you. If you can't find a baptizer near you, you know what I'm saying? Go down to the water. Ask the Heavenly Father to forgive you of your sins and the sins of your forefathers for the remission of their sins. You know, go under the water and with a broken heart and a contrite spirit, come up, man. You know, it's time. It's over. It ain't no more time to be playing. It ain't no more games. You feel me? Um, As far as these brothers out here, these brothers under this strong delusion, you're going to see them get increasing more and more until the day that they taken out of the way. So, you know, man, y'all stay away from them brothers. You know, if you want some real food, go to One Nation, One Power, Elder Ayel, Ben Ephraim. You know, you got Brother Kadosh of One Nation, One Power. You got Abar Anav. You know what I'm saying? You got LaFrance on TikTok. Like I said, you feel me? You got real brothers out here that's really trying to feed y'all and don't want nothing in return but for you to get your soul right. So, you know, one love, family. Love y'all.